Yeah, Emma's fans have been celebrating from the Emerald City all the way to Rogers Center in Toronto, Canada. And that's where we find Fox 13's sports anchor, Alyssa Charleston. She is there this morning with a guest. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning from Toronto. Yeah, a pretty special guest. He had to weave his way through some autograph seekers just yeah. to get here. It's Mike Cameron, Golden Glove winner, Mariners All-Star. We talked so much about that postseason drought. Well, he was the last Mariner to be in the postseason before this year in 2000 yeah. and 2001. Yeah. How excited are you to be here now? And what did you see from the team last night? Um, what I saw yesterday was just uh, guys playing some good baseball and uh, taking advantage of some opportunities that was presented by um, their guy in Manoa. So uh, whenever you do, when you have, I, I call them like two – a1 aces and you know the best way to be able to put the other guy at a disadvantage at a time is to try to get ahead and uh, get on the board first to put some pressure on them because you know that on the other side they have their A1 going also so um, um, just the guys just executing on those simple basics I think one of the biggest thing was like a lot of contact mm -hmm. you know against uh, guys like that and as you saw from our perspective um, they didn't make a lot of contact. It was a lot of weak contact, but it was a lot of punch outs involved with that. So uh, it was uh, good to see uh, the guys get off to a good start um, to push some pressure on the home team. And, and uh, that always kind of works well. And we all know that the momentum for the next day is your starting pitcher and how it goes. Absolutely. Kind of a reverse roles. The Toronto Blue Jays came in being the team that always makes great contact, one of the yeah. best lineups in the biz. What did you think of this team? Because you've been in the playoffs. Yeah. This team coming in here acting like they've been here before when none of the players, very few of the players actually have for the Mariners. So their, their presence on the mound, their presence on the yeah. field. Well, I don't think that they act like they've been here, but I think they kind of treated it um, as another game opposed to, but I'm sure there was nerves. There's yeah. nerves for everyone. Uh, everyone wants to do well uh, on this particular stage and knowing that it's a very short time uh, if you don't play well. So um, being able to understand that being in a moment uh, that mistakes are going to be made still, uh, you're going to possibly get behind, you're possibly going to go up, but you still have to play the game. Uh, try to get through the 27 out, 27 outs as with least mistakes as possible. And obviously, yesterday was a was a big case of um, you know our team being able to take advantage of that early on and getting some runs uh, before we get those 27 outs. As you saw on the other side, it didn't go too well. Yeah, and what do you think it takes to make? A deep run in the playoffs just to have success in the playoffs since you've been in those shoes before well number one is obviously pitching and defense uh, those are the two components and then uh, it's timely hitting because you got to score some runs to be able to um, uh, have a chance to win ball games and you know if you I just felt like we made it very our team made it very easy yesterday for um, Castillo when we got those runs on the board knowing that he was gonna be uh, very tough uh, to score runs off of and you know looking forward you know I, I think it will be a real best case scenario today if we are able to do that for Robbie Ray you know yeah. I'm sure he's going to have some nerves he's coming back to his old home uh, pitching a big game possibly a closeout game and um, and those guys are going to be on the edge over there too going to be kind of gunning you know kind of coming in, in all type of fashion so uh, I think we're going to have a pretty good day today as far as uh, another big game and look forward to the madness uh, the chaos Chaos, that's what they call it, the chaos, chaos. ball. There's going to be a lot of it. Um, you basically listed all the ingredients to the Mariners this season in defense, pitching, and timely hitting. Yeah. You know a thing or two about defense. He's a gold yeah. glove winner. Yeah. Julio Rodriguez is also the first to step up to the plate since the last time the Mariners were in the postseason. You were the last person to step up <laughs> to the plate for the Mariners in the postseason. Yeah. You know Julio pretty well. Why yeah. is he so special in these big moments? Um, I just think that, like I said, he's in an he's in the now of the moment and yeah. I just think that he already understand who he is to the game and also to the team yeah. and um, you know he doesn't try to do too much as youthful as he is he's very you know well scripted or, or manner in how to deal with these actions out here so yeah. um, he's handled it very well I mean he's definitely been a spark plug since he's moved to the top of the lineup for the team uh, I think he understand what he's capable of doing uh, and the one particular thing that you can't do is make mistakes to him because he's a deadly threat. Uh, could be 1-0 real quick. Absolutely. One of the best, in the brightest young stars yes. in the game. Last question quickly. What do you think of the nickname Big Dumper? i got to get your opinion on that. Uh, you know, that's everyone's nickname for him. Uh, I always call him Big Country because he's okay. from, you know, he's from the, the – 
I guess he's from North Carolina, but, you know, but he went to Florida State. So he's like, a, you know, a southern region guy. He's a big fella, big heavy handed fella. So I call him big country opposed to big dumper, but I can see why people <laughs> use that nickname. Yeah, he's been hitting it right field home runs like crazy. Rick Riz calls that the cow zone now. Uh, cow zone. Get even, it? Pizza? Here, Italian. Rogers Center? You did it last night. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right field. That's his. Mike Cameron, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Definitely. First pitch is at 107. The Mariners could clinch and go to the ALDS if they win tonight. Robbie Ray takes the mound. Thank you again. You're welcome. Yeah. Back to you guys. Thanks, Alyssa. We're counting on it, and we're embracing the chaos. We are embracing <laughs> the chaos this morning. What a game. What do you think of that nickname? Yeah, that, it gets your attention, doesn't yeah. it, right?